Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an eye look, this one right here, and a first impressions review on the new Born to Run eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. It's $49, and I believe that this one is permanent. Correct me if I'm wrong down below, I'll pin it so everybody knows, but I think that this one is permanent. I picked it up on Urban Decay Cosmetics website yesterday and it was here today. I did not pay for expedited shipping or anything like that. It was just really fast. So let me quit blabbering and let's get into this palette. Not cardboard packaging, which is amazing. It's actually like a nice plastic. It feels heavy in your hand. And they got pictures of all these different places on the front and the back. Inside you have a nice large mirror and then all the shades. And this easily flips back, which I love. I don't like it when they you have to have it like bent. So here's all of the shades. You've got 20 21 shades in here. You have matte and shimmer. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches. For the first row, we have Breakaway, Stranded, Blaze, Weekender, Still Shot, Riff, and Good As Gone. Second row, Hell Ride, Baja, Accelerate, Guilt Trip, Ignite, Smog, and Wonderlust. And then for the last row, we have Wild Heart, Punk, Double Life, Jet, Drift, radio and big sky again forty nine dollars for this guy and right now i believe it is sold out on urban k cosmetics website but it's coming to sephora i was about to misspeak so let me go ahead and fix that it is coming to sephora online on 619 and on the 24th in stores on the Sephora app, the description reads that it's a travel-ready eyeshadow palette with 21 shades for every possible eye look, from neutral to smoky and bright to sultry. If you find yourself packing multiple kits for one look, Urban Decay's Born to Run eyeshadow palette is your new globe-trotting go-to. I definitely agree with that statement. You've got everything in here. You can create something really soft and something really bright, and you can get a classic smoky eye out of this. I think they did a great job with the color selection. When I first saw this, I thought everything just looked too dark, but seeing it in person, it definitely gives you a whole new feel, and I really like the vibe of this palette. I also thought of the Makeup Shayla and ColourPop shadows, so I'm going to grab that and show you side by side for anybody else who is thinking the same. Okay, so here is the ColourPop and Shayla, Makeup Shayla, and then this is the other. Let's see if I can get out of frame. There are definitely some similarities here. It's almost like the Urban Decay palette is like the extended version of the Makeup Shayla palette. Do you need both? Probably not. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this eye look, and then I'll give you guys my first impressions afterwards. I'm taking Still Shot on a Zoeva 227, starting on the outer V. That is great pigmentation. I hope it stays. <laughs> and I'm going to work it up into the crease. Adding a bit more and blending it upward and into the crease into the inner corner. I'm going to build this and then slowly bring it upward as my transition shade, but I like to do this as less product is on the brush. I've got to say I'm a little shocked. Like this is pro I just wasn't expecting this. This is one of the best performing colors that I've ever used from Urban Decay. I hope the rest of the palette is like this. It gets blending like a dream. MAC 221 in that same shade, I'm going to run this along the lower lash line. And when I do this, I always take the brush first and knock off a little bit of the bake right at the lash line so I can apply the color. Back in with that 227, I'm taking Baja, again placing it on the outer V, and then I'm going to work it into the crease. This is just going to add a little bit more definition to the crease area. Same shade, lower lash line. Now I'm taking a MAC 221 and Hell Ride, starting on the outer V again, and then into the crease. I do need to build this color up just a little bit, not bad though. bringing it all the way to the front. Same shade, Delium 758, and I'm going to press this right up against the lash line. 
I'm gonna take a big sky and this is dry on a Mac 242 running this first in the center of the lid and then I'm gonna tap over the purple I will go back and intensify that color whenever I'm done building it up just a little bit and bringing it further on the edges Flipping that 242 over, I'm taking Stranded on this inner corner and then kind of tapping over the last shade we did. I am again going to build this up just a little bit and it's dry. MAC 283 and Breakaway at the brow arch and then I'm going to go add just a little bit of liner, nothing to cover anything up, and then lashes and I'll be done. I actually feel like I need something a little bit deeper on this outer corner, so I'm taking Radio on a MAC 221. I'm just going to deepen up this outer V. I just felt like it was missing, and this definitely brings it together. And then I'm using Linda Hallberg's Atria Flash for my liner up top as well as underneath, and I will smudge this out and I'll put it in the waterline. Here is the finished eye look, Kiss Ritzy Lash, of course. So keep in mind that this is a first impressions. Obviously I have not used all the shades in here, but just based off of my experience today, I did have quite a bit of fallout, but that baking thing just, you just swipe it all away and it's fine. So be wary of that. But. The whole overall feel of this palette, like the palette in of itself feels nice and heavy. It's not cardboard. The mirror flips all the way back if you don't want to use it. It's a large mirror. The shades in here, I, I don't know. It's so funny to me because I really did not want this palette. I'm not the biggest Urban Decay palette fan. Like I used to love their shadows and then I just kind of like, eh, they're just whatever to me. But I'm shocked by this one. I feel like all the shades were pigmented. They blended out well. I didn't have trouble with any of them. And I used the shimmer shades dry. Everything just looks really nice. And <laughs> applaud to you, Urban Decay. I think you hit this one out of the park. If you're looking at grabbing this palette, <laughs> I want to put shadow and palette together. <laughs> if you're looking to grab this palette, I definitely think that you will enjoy it. If you do, please let me know down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.